Nelson Pinto wobbled him for a moment. Well, Pinto seemed to have been so stiff and cold. He, isn't, he hasn't warmed up. Uh, and, and from what I can see... Near Pinto lands a left hook and another left. But Cotto catches him with a left in between. And once again... Uh, uh, Pinto knows that he can punch too. The thing is, his punches are a little bit wider. And he's out. Shot over either catching with a left hook and a, and a clean up punch. Roundhouse right over the top by Pinto. Well, in the amateurs, he could probably win those fights with his jab. I was going to say, what Cotto got accurate punches would be more effective. And Cotto lands a right hand after two little left hooks inside to the body. Cotto needs to go. To make that impression right away. Cotto blocking some of Pinto's step inside and landing another left. Out of 83, Cotto landing half his power shots. This is the blueprint inside the whirling dervish that is Pinto with all those long shots. There you see Cotto's left hook getting there first. And the left hook gets there again. And now to the body. And another one on the chin. And Pinto just firing and firing with those. Good left hook by Pinto. Good shot by Pinto. Cotto with a huge left. Pinto landed something that has made Cotto think twice. Whether it was oh, yeah. the left thing that has changed Cotto's approach. There's a hard right hand followed by the left foot. See the 10-8 round scored by Harold Letterman as the result of the knockdown of Kelson Pinto. And they're landing a right to the back of Cotto's head. It was pretty powerful. Well, it's the typical. same thing again. The short left hook. Oh, and an amateur. That's how Cotto has... Punch it, yes. like that. Good. One thing you can see for sure is that in terms of talent, Kelson Pinto belongs in the same echelon with Miguel Cotto. Oh yeah, I'm very impressed with it. Whether his experience is going to give him a chance to stay with him to this fight. But what a talent. And there's a hard fight here. You know, he's had as many fights as Cotto in the four years since the Sydney Olympics. Not against the same kind of opponent. Competition. That was a huge left hook by Cotto. The brave Kelson Pinto keeps throwing. Hard right hand shot. Right. Moving to the right. Good Hard punch. right hand by Pinto landed. Flush on the jaw. Cotto took punches. He's too effective. Left hook lands again. Close range. It was a short right -hand. moment in Kelson Pinto. He's no. here to fight an offensive fight, regardless of how hurt, how much hurt he takes from the gloves of Cotto. <laughs> Al Letterman gave Pinto the last round as Larry... And it's a controlling jab, too. Solid right hand by Pinto. One thing Cotto has shown here, as in all his fights, he can take Now Cotto in close where he likes to be. And Pinto again. What Pinto seems to be doing is then through the target. He's fighting a very good fight at this stage right now. I mean, I'm very impressed with his comeback. I never expected this way in round one. Instead of coming out guns blazing, you see out of the punch. The short punches, I'm gonna say he's getting carried away, man, getting him to exchange his first slightly. Emmanuel. And the outbox Cotto from out here. And they trade huge shots again. And Pinto slightly wobbled. Cotto goes. Second knockdown of the fight. Has to trade with him. Cotto, as Emmanuel pointed out, the stronger fighter. And this barrage of right hands, they wind up ending the fight. Cotto came out sensing that Pinto was days at the start of the round and went right after him. Third time Pinto's been down. He just fell on him Very like a play. big cat. Here comes Ricardo like a lion. Ricardo, the manager and the of fight is over. The fight is over. Ricardo Maldonado came in to rescue his fighter, basically saying this is too valuable a commodity to let him take. El ganador 
en el de la campeón del mundo super ligero de Caguas, Puerto Rico, Miguel.